Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing a baking video. Yes, today I am going to be baking bread rolls. But I'm going to be breaking the video into two videos. So today you're going to be seeing bread rolls and then I'll do another video for cinnamon rolls. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we have a cup of warm water. And I'm going to add... Three tablespoons of yeast and a tablespoon of sugar and I'm just going to mix that together with a fork and I'm just going to let that sit and let that do its magic for a bit okay guys for the next bit you need about eight and nine or ten cups of flour and um, depending on how much dough you want to make I've personally got 8 cups of flour. Hi guys, so and in this bit you actually need to use flour. 10 cups of flour instead of 8. Um, so make sure you use 10 cups of flour enough. instead I of 8. I have actually made this before, so this is going to be very interesting. I've got um, half a cup of sugar right here. I've got half, half a cup of oil. I've got 3 cups of warm water. And then I've got my mixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in the three cups of water into the flour. And then I'm going to add in the yeast mixture as well. And I'm going to use my spoon to scrape in everything from there. And then I'm just going to start mixing this as I can. Please ensure to use a metallic bowl okay, while making okay. this mixture and it is big enough for your mixture to, to fit into in because I no. struggled to mix this up while using a plastic Sugar. bowl. I spilled most of it on my counter but that's okay. And then I'm going to add in my oil. I'm just going to let this mix up. Once you can't mix the dough anymore with your spoon, take the spoon out and start using your hands to help combine the dough together. The dough will be very sticky at this point, but please keep at it. It will come together eventually. Thank you. At this stage, I realised I needed to add more flour to my dough to make it less sticky. I'm just adding in another couple of cups to see if it helps the dough. Make sure you keep it in the bowl. At this stage, my dough was ready to be covered for half an hour to help now raise. I'm going to cover this up for half an hour This is going to be covered for half an hour to raise while I clean up. Okay guys, the dough has been resting for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to check. Yes, it has definitely rose. So I'm going to now, push once your dough has more. been risen for 20 to 30 minutes, and uncover your dough and, and then knead it for a few minutes. Then cut your dough in half. Use half of this dough for your bread rolls and then the other half put it aside to make your cinnamon rolls for later. That's it. Get all the dough. And use the back of my hand as well. Don't forget to use your knuckles when you're doing this because you want it to be nice and firm and you want it to be a nice consistency all around. Look at this that I've done. I should have took it off beforehand, but never mind. 
When baking this recipe, please remember to remove any of your hand jewelry in case it falls off or gets stuck into the food. Because I forgot to and I got a mess all over my wedding rings. So please remember to remove your rings. Now that I've done that, I'm going to get a knife. I'm just going to cut the dough into. Okay, guys, this is the moment where I cut the dough into half. You take half of it for your bread rolls, and then you put the other half aside for the video that I'll put up in a few days for the cinnamon rolls, where I'll show you how to make that. There you go. So I've got half here. That's really sticky. I don't think it's meant to be this sticky, guys. I think it's me. I've never made this before, so. I might take a little bit more of the dough in the pan, in the bowl. Hear that, please? That's the sound of good dough. I hear that sound. That's so how you know you've got a good dough. Okay, I'm going to put this down. I might lower the surface first before I do that because I don't want my dough sticking to where I put it down. Now you don't have to roll this dough out. Nothing like that, you just break pieces off. Okay. Okay. Next thing you want to do is get some parchment paper, paper or Use proof, proof papers to pull it in for your okay? And I'm just going to break some up like this and stick it down onto one of the sheets. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break a bit of this dough off and I'm just going to work it round into my hands. Now it depends on how big you want these you can make them bigger smaller it completely depends on yourselves so keep that in mind when you come to bake these yourselves if you do want to bake them so I've okay I'm just going to pinch the bottom like this and then I'm going to place the first one down like that and then i'm just going to continue to do so if you guys know a proper way of how to um place the dough balls onto the tray then please do it that way this is just the way that i did it it did make some cracks in the dough balls but they were still yummy they still turned out okay i was still able to put stuff on them that's just the way that i did them so if you have your own way of doing them then please don't follow my uh, way of putting them on the tray do it your own way that's just what i did okay as you can see i've made three six nine ten i think yes ten pieces of the dough which isn't too bad at all um and these are going to be buns so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put a little bit of butter on each of these and a bit of salt and then i'm going to cover them up um with a towel let them rise a little bit more then my oven preheat and i'm going to go in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes depending on my oven and then they should be done so i can't wait so as you can see i am putting butter on top of each of these buns and i have got some salt and i i haven't got that much salt in my hand i've only got a little bit and i haven't gone back to the 
the case with the salt in the tour um, and I actually do put some back so you don't need that much salt at all and you do definitely taste the salt when they're cooked as well so you definitely don't need much salt at all on top of these Okay, my oven's gonna be preheated now. Here, have it got it my homemade rolls. They look so beautiful. I am going to cut into one of these to show you. I'm so pleased with myself. They look absolutely beautiful. Look at that, cooked in the middle. My cutting scores are not brilliant, so it kind of broke, but it's cooked. And they're cooked. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.